Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at putting numbers inside shapes or text inside shapes in both Excel and Word because they work very differently. Thank you to the subscriber who asked the question. So I'm here in Excel, I'm going to the Insert option, I'm going to Shapes and I'm going to Basic Shapes because I want a circle. I'm going to hold the Shift key as I drag out a circle and I'm going to type the number 7 in here. You can just press the number 7, text automatically goes into the shape. I want to format this really big so I'm going to the Home tab of the ribbon. I already know that about 160 is going to be a pretty good size for this number 7 and I really like this font shape that has a bent end on it. Actually let's go and make this a bit bigger so that we can force the situation that's going to happen. So at 180 point size you can see that the text is actually being blocked from the edge of the shape. It's not looking very good at all. So in Excel we can select on the shape and when we do that you can see that we get the shape format options up here and over here in the sizes area is everything that we need. You can get to the same area of that dialog by just right clicking the shape and going to size and properties. And here we have the settings that we're looking for and in particular it's these text box settings so you can open them up here. I'm going to close the size ones for now. Now the alignment is going to be how the text is aligned and to get the best results we're going to choose middle centered so I'm just going to click on that. Now that just makes the problem a little bit different because now instead of being cut off at the bottom it's cut off at the top but we do have the number nicely centered. The solution for being cut off at the top is that we're going to make the top margin bigger so we're just going to start winding up the top margin and that's going to push the number back into the shape and when I click away everything's looking really nice. So in Excel it's pretty easy to solve this problem and to get text inside a shape without having it cut off. In Microsoft Word it's a different matter entirely. So I'm here in Microsoft Word. I'm going to do the same thing with Insert Shapes. I'm going down to my Basic Shapes. I hold the Shift key as I drag out a nice size circle. I'm going to type my number 7 in here. You can see it's going into the middle of the shape. Looking promising, not going to be very promising at all. Let's make this 180 and let's go to our font. So even if we reduce the font size a little bit we're still going to have this continuous continuing problem of text being cut off. When I right click this shape and go to format shape we do have what look like similar options here to Excel but they're not. So in the text box options we've only got top, middle and bottom and you can see that top and middle are just having no change at all and neither is bottom so in effect we're not getting any help from this dialogue at all and as hard as you might try you're really not going to get a solution. So what I suggest you do is don't do that in the first place. Don't put text inside the shape. I'm going to show you a different solution. So I'm just going to set this back to about 15 points because I don't want the insertion point to be in my face. So I'm just going to click away from the shape. I'm going to the insert tab and I'm going to text box and I'm going down here to draw text box. I'm going to draw a sizable text box, type in the number 7 and select it. Go back to the Home tab of the ribbon, back to our 160 point size type, go back to our Adobe Carlson font. I want it to be white so I'm going to go here and select white. Let's just put it over the shape. Now the problem is that this text box has not only a white fill but also a stroke and so we're not able to see our number. So with it selected I'm going up here to shape format or I could just right click and choose format shape. For the fill I'm going to choose no fill and that's going to bring my number back again and for the outline I need no outline so let's go here to no line. So when I click away we're not seeing the outline of that text box. I'm going to select the text box and just move it into position so that the number is where I want it to appear over my shape. 
Now the only problem we have right now is that the shape and the circle are two separate objects and that's going to be a little problematical. So back to the Home tab of the ribbon, let's go across to Select and let's go to Select Objects. That will allow me to drag over both of these shapes to select them. You want to make a selection big enough to grab both of these objects. With both of these shapes selected, we're going back up to Shape Format and we're going over here to Group and then Group again. I'm choosing that rather than right clicking because it's really easy to lose both shapes when you right click but you'll always get to the grouping option by going to shape format and then group group. Now that we've finished creating our shape it's going to be accessible as a single shape. I'm going back to my select select objects and I can drag it into position in my document. You'll just need to be careful to go back to select and select objects to deselect that tool. You also want to be careful that when you are working with this combined shape that you use the select objects command because that will ensure that you take both objects together. Otherwise it's going to be perilously easy for you to grab just part of the shape, for example the number, and move it rather than the combined grouped shape. So just be aware of that. Obviously Microsoft Excel is so much easier to work with. I don't know why the tools are different in both applications but you might also think well maybe I could just create it in Excel and bring it into Word. Well let's try that. I'm going to copy the one that we made in Excel and just paste it into Word and problems immediately. The settings from Excel aren't coming into Word. They're not being held the same way and so that's not a possible solution. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.